friends. I hope you're all having a good day. This is Stacy Cook from When Life Gives You Oils, and today I want to share with you um, something that I really wanted to be using this weekend. I spent a lot of the weekend out in the yard gardening um, and kind of getting through an entire jungle of weeds and plants that were overgrown. So um, I also came across a lot of little pests and bugs. So what I want to share with you today is a really simple recipe for making your outdoors annoyance free. So I don't know if you've seen it, but there's this really interesting video going around that shows um, a circle of essential oil where someone has used peppermint and lemongrass and then they have dropped a little annoyance inside the middle of that circle of oil and you can see how it would not cross that barrier. It was not interested in being touched by that oil at all. Um, so I wanna use some of those oils to make my annoyance free outdoors spray. Um, and what those oils were were uh, peppermint and lemongrass. Um, so to make a spray is super simple. You just need a little spray bottle, a little spray bottle top. Um, you can get these guys on Amazon, super easy. And what you're gonna do is, you need something in your spray that's gonna help the water we put in it combine with the essential oils. So you can use a couple things. You can use Epsom salt. Um, Epsom salt is not my favorite because I find that with these little spray bottles, over time the salt kind of gums up the little spritzers. So I prefer to use something that's already a liquid. So you can use witch hazel or even vodka. Um, I don't know the chemistry behind it, but there's something that um, makes vodka uh, help your essential oils and water combine. It's magic as far as I'm concerned. Um, but today I'm just going to use witch hazel because I have a lot of it on hand. So in your little spray bottle, this is a little two ounce spray bottle, um, you can just put a splash, and when I say splash, it's just like a tiny bit, you don't need a lot, a little splash of your witch hazel. And then for this spray, I'm going to use, uh, like I said, five drops of peppermint, and I would use five drops of lemongrass, but so sad, my lemongrass is empty. I need to order more. So I'm not gonna be able to use my lemongrass, but the good thing is I have purification on hand. And purification, it comes in our starter kit, and so you probably have it, and it includes lemongrass. It has lemongrass in it. So I'm gonna use peppermint and purification, and then to really amp it up, I am also gonna add some citronella. Um, I got this guy for free this month uh, because I placed a larger order. And um, so I'm going to add citronella too. I'm going to do five drops of each, maybe six. Uh, it's not an exact science, but five should suffice. So first I'm going to add my citronella. I'm looking for the little hole to get it out of there. Oh, one, two, three, five, six. Citronella, peppermint. So you just add your peppermint. And what I'm looking for when I drip these oils out is, you know, it's our instinct to kind of think that that middle hole is where the essential oil is gonna come out of, but it doesn't. It actually comes out of this tiny little pin hole that's in the um, like groove around there. So if you can find that little pin hole and line your bottle up, your oils are gonna pour out a lot easier, which is nice, especially when you're dealing with that thick oil. Um, it's really important to find that little pinhole. And then the last one I'm gonna put in our spray is purification because I don't have the lemongrass on hand. So my purification is a little low too. You can tell we use it a lot. I need to add both of these to my June ER order. Actually, let's see. I'm gonna to have to pop this top off of this guy. So when your oils get really low, if you can't get them out but you see a little bit in there, you can just pop your reducer top off and pour very carefully directly out of the bottle because um, there are drops left in there. You'll get them, there you come. So I put in six of the purification too. So I have my, and then I'm just going to add in water. I'm just gonna top it off with water.
and that's just water from filtered water from my refrigerator nothing special um, if you were looking to do a large batch and keep it for a long time I would recommend maybe getting distilled water but um, like we'll go through this you know in a, in a, in a, in a few weekends outside um, for a whole family uh, so that's it um, you can spray this all over yourself when you're outside help keep the outside annoyance free and you don't have to deal with any chemicals that would be an alternative means to do that so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later bye